So I used to come to Willen Hospice for my lymphedema. And that was the first round of uh, cancer that I had in 2013. So when I spoke to Kate, I said to Kate, I said, um, I've, I've got this again. And I said, I don't know what to do. Then she introduced me to Will and Hospice. And she said, why don't you join the wellbeing centre and they'll help you. And I thought, OK, let me come. I was really scared because I knew what Will and Hospice was. Like everybody else, you think, Will and Hospice, do I really want to go there? I was a bit nervous. Sorry about that. I went to Will and Hospice and I just, the wellbeing centre was just incredible for me. We care for people in the inpatient unit, but the majority of our care is also out in people's homes. Not just the person with the life-limiting illness, their family and, um, and friends, but also that care is extended once that person is bereaved as well, and that care is ongoing. Well, we tend to meet families, the children and the young people of those families, and they're either bereaved or pre-bereaved coming up to the death of a loved one. And that loved one can, is nearly always a relative, um, sometimes a parent or often a grandparent um, or a relative that they've been really close to. So we meet children from as small as four, I think was my youngest, up to adulthood. But I'll never forget the day I arrived here. It was the most incredible experience I've ever experienced. As we drove in, I said, there's no cars here, because I know this parking lot gets full, and there were no cars here. And I said, why is there no cars? They said, oh, because they've been expecting you. So as they're wheeling me in, the ambulance driver, there's all these people lined up in will and waiting for me. I said, what are all these people doing here? He says, oh, they're here for you. And that's when I felt like the queen. <laughs> um, when my mom passed away, women were amazing and um, they were able to do something and help both my sister and my family and I uh, do something for my mother that we promised to do uh, when she had passed and that was just to bathe her and change her into some comfortable clothing and um, also just to have that time alone with her. They also helped afterwards with keeping in touch with the family through their counselling and bereavement services. Um, always smiling, always willing to listen, always making time, nothing is ever too much trouble. You can't really describe what that means to you and what impact that leaves with you. Um, and how grateful you are for it. And I'll never forget, I came into my room and it was just the most beautiful room and it had my name on it and the guys that were there like put me into the, onto the bed, they even tucked me in and gave me a kiss. <laughs> that just made me laugh. I just thought this is like, wow, this place is incredible. I think the perception that the community or people have of Willen is that it's a place for people to go die. Now I'm saying that very bluntly, but that's a fact. People think it's a place where you go die. Yes, people do, but it's a very peaceful place. But the most amazing thing that really got to me is that as I was wheeled in, there was this immense sense of love, peace, and the best part that I really felt was the joy. And I think it's that joy that really got to me, is that how can this place be so joyful when there's all these people that are passing away? And But that's what I experienced was the joy. And I thought, I love this place. <laughs> I've made this gorgeous little teddy bear here. Don't laugh, okay? Nobody's allowed to laugh. This is my teddy. I've never made a teddy in my life before. Coralie, who's the one of the reverends here, she does art, so she teaches us. So she brings in clay and she helped us make this little bear. He's not painted yet, so he's gonna get painted. But this is what I'm talking about. Give to Will and Hospice, don't chuck it away. Give it to them. This is what happens, it makes me happy. It makes the other patients happy. It makes their family, their children. They provide toys, they provide books, they provide counseling. They do so many therapies here and everything is needed. Who pays for that? We need your help, we family. Let us see Will and Hospice as our, almost as our baby. Let's take care of Will and Hospice because Will and Hospice is taking care of your family. Every single day, these people leave their homes to come and take care of your family, take care of me, me, and others that are sick. If you don't look at Will and Hospice in a negative light, it's not a negative place to be. So it gives me so much joy to be here, so much peace. So all I'm asking is that you guys just get involved, get involved in the smallest 
or the biggest way that you want to. And it can be an individual and it must be companies because you're all part of this family. We're living here now. Don't live in the past. Don't live in the future. Live for today because today is the day that you're going to live with your family. It's like I'm here with you guys now. This is a moment that I can actually enjoy. I'm here at Willen, which is one of my favorite places. So I'm really happy that I'm at Willen today.